It's the beginning of a new month, and that means that the new Spellbinders Kit Clubs are available. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in this video I'll be sharing some of the May 2024 Spellbinders Kit Clubs. They are all based around the theme of tropical paradise. I do have a lot to share today, but I want to just go through each of the Kit Clubs so you can see what you can make with them. First up, we have the embossing folder of the month. It's kind of this crosshatch or woven look to an embossing folder. Now, all the embossing folders of the month and 3D embossing folders of the month are that extra large size, meaning you can do A2, you can do 5.7, 5x7, so you have a lot of options. I did one in white and then one in kind of a peach color. This is the 3D embossing folder of the month, and you can see there's lots of tropical leaves here. I did one in a light green, and one white. Don't forget to use your mini mister before the 3D embossing folder because then you won't get any cracking. As you can see here, I get a nice smooth impression. Next up, we have the Better Press of the month. This came out so beautifully. I decided to do it in black and I just love how it came out. Here's the wax seal of the month. You get this oval wax seal. It says hi, it has some tropical flowers and leaves, and then you get the matcha colored wax beads. Next up, we have the glimmer kit of the month. So you get this one large tropical flower, two sentiments, and the dies to cut those sentiments out. So as you can see, I decided to foil the flower in rainbow and in gold, and I have the sentiments in rainbow and gold. I also foiled the better press in rainbow and gold as well, which is a great thing to know about the better press that you can use it with the glimmer too. Here's the stencil of the month. It's a layering stencil, creates kind of those water droplet looks. So I did one in two different light colors of blue and then one where I did kind of an ombre from yellow to orange and light pink to darker pink. The stencil is really easy to use use and layer up these two stencils to create a fun, splashy background. Next up, we have the Clear Stamp and Die Club. And you can see I have it in my stacks case, so don't forget about those cases. They are great for holding all these little elements and the stamps and dies all in one little case. So you have two different images. They cut off on the sides of cards, and then there are several sentiments with the dies as well. So you have a lot of different options here. There's the stitching die of the month. You can cut out the shape of the background. That's the background of the pineapple. Then we have this front sort of grid mark. That's the front of the pineapple. And then you can cut out the regular oval with the stitching lines. And I did that here and stitched it as well. So let's just put this together so you can see exactly how the pineapple looks when you put it all together. So I put the stitched part of the pineapple on top of some gold glitter cardstock from Spellbinders. And now I'll just use a little bit of mode lawn ink to add a little bit of dark edges to the leaves. So you get this basic shape here and then you get several individual leaves that you can sort of double on top of it and layer it up to create a layered look and you love how pineapples have that crown look to the top so that's what you can create here i'm using some of the small foam squares to pop these up on the background so that they really do have dimension I'll add a little bit of liquid adhesive behind that gold glitter cardstock and place it right on top of the stitched part and then place a little bit of liquid adhesive under the leaves and adhere that to the top of the pineapple. Now let's use those kit clubs to make some cards. Once that pineapple was completely dry, I popped it up on one of the stencil backgrounds. I used one of the glimmer sentiments on top. You can see all the stitching and the glimmer and the glitter cardstock. And now to finish it off, I'll add some fashion gold embellishment pearls. These are so awesome and I never use the large ones. So I thought this would be the perfect way to use them up a little bit. So I have them on the center of each of those stitched circles and they're so much fun. Next up, we have the better press plate that I put through the glimmer machine with rainbow 
foil. So now I'll take one of the glimmer sentiments that I die cut out also in rainbow foil and pop that up on some small foam squares and put it in the center because this one I ran without the sentiment in the center of it. For this glimmer flower I decided to fussy cut it out. It's very easy to cut out. I'll just go pretty slowly at first and then I'll just speed this up so you don't have to watch me cut everything out. I did decide to leave a small white border just like it would have if I had a die to cut it out, but you could totally go right up against the foil line because it's rather thick and so you would have enough room to cut it right up against the foil if you so choose. I decided, like I said, for that little margin because I am going to place this on some white background cardstock so it will all go together nicely. I have some foam squares behind it once again and I'm popping it up on top of one of the 3D embossing folder backgrounds that I did in the white cardstock and then I'll use a few small foam squares for the glimmer sentiment that says thinking of you also in the rainbow foil don't need much more for this. It is very eye-catching with that huge flower and that rainbow foil. Next, we have the Better Press that I used with the Better Press machine and ink. And I actually better press this onto some Strathmore Bristol Smooth, which is great if you're just using a teeny tiny bit of water to move some watercolor markers around. So I'm using a Spellbinders water brush and I have some watercolor markers from Sketch Marker and I'll just put some darker colors at the sort of edges or the centers of the leaves and then blend it out so that you have a little nice gradient of color. I'll do the same thing with flowers. I have darker areas on the flowers that are closer to the center of the flower and then pull that color out to the edge of the petals to create a nice watercolor effect. I did decide to have all the leaves be green, two different colors for the flowers, and then those birds, I wanted to, to have the yellow tops to them, the feathers on top that are yellow, but the birds are white. So a lot of this card is not going to get colored at all. I could do it with kind of a very light color, but I just decided to let it be and have just some of these elements be really popping off the black and white of the sentiment and then those bird bodies and their wings as well. I'll add a couple of pearls to the centers of those flowers and then a few pearls around the sentiment as well and call this one a day. There's so many details in that better press plate that you don't need to add a ton more. Next up I have another flower from the Glimmer Kit. This time I used gold foil with it and this time instead of just leaving it with the foil and white cardstock I'm using some small detail blending brushes to add some Distress Oxide ink. I'm starting with Kitsch Flamingo. Then I actually decided to add some picked raspberry at the base of the petals and then use the Kitsch Flamingo to draw the color out to the tips of the petals. So a similar effect as the watercolor, only with ink blending, which I find much easier than watercoloring. Add a little green for the stem and then pop that up and place it on the white embossed background with that regular embossing folder. Here's the wax seal and a wax seal circle adhesive. Just place that circle adhesive down on the back of the wax seal, peel off the protective layer, and I tore it a little bit there, no big deal, and then just place it down on your project. Don't throw it down, clearly. <laughs> so next I decided to add some gold thread around the flower, so I did pop the wax seal back off and then pop it back on, tie a little bow with that gold thread. And I love the way those look together. The green and the pink are so much fun. Now here's the better press plate that I ran through the glimmer machine with gold foil. I'm cutting it down to four by five and a quarter. So I'm taking off half of a quarter or an eighth, I guess, <laughs> at a time on each side so that I can have a 
four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of that better press design, but have it be even all around. Now I have that embossing folder of the peach cardstock. I use a little bit of white pigment ink brushed across it just brush the ink pad right across and you'll see it really has the design stand out nicely. For the clear stamp, I did color in that left-hand side image, that larger image, and I cut it out. I decided that this is going to go on a green background, so I don't want those white harsh lines. So I'm using a very, very light green, almost grayish green marker all around the outside and anything in the center. So this is a jungle scene, right? So pretty much everything there is kind of green and lush. So I figured green in the background would be great. You could also do blue, like clear sky, but I felt like green was going to work really well for this background. So I have that 3D embossing folder of the light green cardstock, and I placed the image down flat to that background and then popped up the sentiment that says I'm tickled pink. I cut that all down to four by five and a quarter so I could mat it on some pink glitter cardstock from Spellbinders. For the ombre stenciled background, I decided to cut another pineapple out of the stitching die, but not stitch this time. So I didn't cut the stitched elements out. I just cut the background and the top and then the leaves. Did a similar thing with the leaves as far as a little bit of ink blending and then layering them on top. And this time I'm using some of the fashion Bella pearls. So these are a really pretty light pink pearl and I thought they would go really nicely with the background which I actually cut that stencil background down to four by five and a quarter and matted it on some of the pink cardstock which is the same color of cardstock that I used for the top of the pineapple there. So again just placing these pearls right in the centers of the die cuts and using some smaller ones on the side because there's not a whole circle there and then the medium ones in the rest of those circles and I love the way this one came out it is so different and fun for a pineapple and a really summery card I don't know about you but this month's kit clubs from Spellbinders have me dreaming of summer and vacation I'd love to hear if something caught your eye though let me know in the comments below as always I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today please stay safe stay healthy and I'll see you again soon. Again. That's okay. <laughs> We're going to leave it at that.